So we're going to talk about the reason why a two-point exists um, and not just one-point perspective. Um, so we're going to again drop our horizon line there uh, and put a vanishing point on it. So let's say that I'm drawing a, a road down here and there are all these buildings on this road coming this way. Um, and I want to draw a bunch of those buildings. And we'll say that I'm not like, you know, that I'm almost on one side of the road. Okay, so this is the road, do do do, got some lines down the center. Um, so let's say I start to put a building on here and I start dropping my, uh, my vertical down and then, you know, I drop my, uh, my horizontal to start to draw this little alleyway. I draw this side of the building and I make make it recede back to the horizon line. Okay, and then I just finish off the building real quick with another vertical. This should look pretty weird um, because this is giving like too much credence, too much attention to this sort of flat thing. Now one point perspective on this side of the road would work pretty well but because um, because this angle has swung out so far, uh, you're gonna have to use two-point perspective, and this is why this is why two-point perspective ex exists. So the vanishing point, you know, might be out here, um, and you're gonna see huge difference in this. This is probably too close. I might actually use like a vanishing point that's like way further away, um, but this is definitely gonna look a little more naturalistic now. Um, so if you think about it, you're standing here and looking over over at a building, um, you're not going to see, you're going to see this plane receding away from you because you're kind of like turning. So this is one of those situations where you're getting like too much information in the page and so your system kind of has to like adapt and change. Um, and here you can actually use a mix of one and two point perspective. Like you can, buildings over here you could use one point, buildings over here you could use two point. Um, so that's kind of like a more advanced concept. It's like mixing perspective types, depending on what you want to fit on the page. Um, but that's but that is why one point perspective breaks down and why two point perspective exists.